What's up, everyone? Thomas here with For Real Movie News and Reviews, and I am currently talking with the star of the TIFF-selected rom-com, I'm Your Man, Marin Eggert. Uh, Marin, first of all, I want to congratulate you on all the accolades that this movie is receiving, including your win for uh, the Silver Bear at the Berlin uh, uh, Film Festival for Best Leading Performance. So congratulations for all that. You must be really excited about how, how well this movie is playing for people. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, it's really a good year for um, <laughs> this this, uh, this uh, trip. The movie does. It's really nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, can you give us uh, a brief synopsis about um, I'm Your Man? And also tell me a little bit uh, about your character, Alma. Well, yeah, we have, uh, we meet Alma, uh, who is a scientist, um, and she's uh, an, a really enthusiastic enthusiastic worker I should say and um, she's confronted with this situation she has to try out a robot who's programmed to be her partner and she she really <laughs> she really doesn't want him and he's um, it's planned to for him to move into her flat for three weeks and she's really not thrilled about that and so we have this comedy comedy entrance for the for the movie a person who is put in this, into a situation um, which she doesn't want and uh, has to try to find a way out, way out there. And um, yeah, and then after that start, it's it's a, like a melancholic trip through all these questions about love and partnership and uh, who are we, who are we, who do we want to be? And um, yeah, where's all this <laughs> going? <laughs> so, uh, Right. It's a fascinating premise and uh, and very entertaining, um, especially with your character and how kind of um, against this romantic notion that she is, because um, it's, you know, this AI is doing its best to uh, to be a romantic partner and Alma just isn't very interested in that for the beginning of it, um, despite the AI statistics that say, you know, women should be interested in this stuff. So mm -hmm. it, it is very uh, amusing to see the character development uh, from that point to where the movie goes. Um, I am interested in what attracted you to this role. Oh, I mean, of course, Alma is a really grown up person. She's independent. She has humor and um, she's working on something interesting. And this kind of character is something which you still don't find so very often in scripts. So I was thrilled to do it. And um, yeah, I love, I mean, Dialogue in, in movies isn't always that easy. They have to re be really good. So um, I was I was happy about these really funny and thoughtful dialogues there, which Maria wrote with her partner. And um, yeah, I was just, I loved Alma from the start because she's so unique and so grumpy and so funny <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Right, um, she definitely, I think, Something that I look for in, in movies is that character development, right? Like the, what really um, resonates with me is when I can see the progression of a character from one state into a different state and, and how that journey goes. And I think that I'm Your Man definitely um, gives Alma a, a, a very interesting journey and, and the conclusions that the movie comes to is also very thought provoking in that sense um, when it comes to like thinking about these notions of love and partnership and what it means to be human and alive. Um, I, which makes me wonder uh, for you, was there anything that you learned personally from playing Alma or, or anything um, that uh, you also want audiences to take away from, uh, from this character when they watch the film? You know, I think Alma is so brave in the, in this story, in this journey that she is she is um, that it's possible for her to open up to this strange other being, and uh, which isn't really from the start. You wouldn't believe she she would do it, and then she yeah she opens up, and that's so so much courage in that. I think because we are always so so frightened about. Uh, borders and about opening up uh, um, 
to other people also it doesn't have to be robots <laughs> and um uh, so i was I, I really fell in love with that about Alma that she's able to do that and that she she is she's willing to go on that journey from from some point in in the story and um that the struggle of hers between like mind and heart is something that I really know from my own life like they always <laughs> do different things and you can't decide <laughs> which to follow and that's I mean that's so so human and so so understandable and um mm -hmm. yeah maybe what I get from this is that you don't always have to decide maybe it's also okay that there's two different things two different sides in yourself I don't know no ab absolutely um I uh so there's a there's a point in the film uh where so she's gotten acquainted with tom and uh and and tom insists that he comes to work with her right and uh so um alma is doing this research on like uh, poetry and history through these artifacts that they found and tom ends up um using his computer search database to find that there's someone else who has already um done this research and it's a it's really a a very discouraging um uh, roadblock for for Alma um and you know she kind of has to find a way to deal with that uh I I wonder if that's something that maybe you've experienced in your own life or career where there's something that has that has arisen as as a roadblock and how you personally dealt with that yeah well maybe I mean being an actress maybe it's someone else playing the role which you <laughs> which you want to play oh and, man has that uh, happened before <laughs> uh, well of course several of times course. i mean so a lot of movies where I, where i thought oh, i want to do this why are you doing this mm -hmm. so i can yeah maybe maybe yeah maybe i can draw the line there so yeah uh, how, and how do you uh, i mean how do you personally kind of work through that or maybe even find motivation to do better in the roles that you do uh is there something that uh, that is that is motivating or inspiring about overcoming challenges well i i decided personally like long ago i decided to, to take what's coming like to to not watch out for to not make like big wishes and then be disappointed when they don't come along but to to really be open to what's coming to me and to use that and to do something about that and to, um yeah with this with Ahmed, it was the same thing. I, I, I saw her, I wanted her, and I tried to, <laughs> to, some, to do something with her. So, yeah. Absolutely. What's, yeah, that's how I deal with it. Yeah, that's great. Um, this is my last question for you because I want to um, make sure we keep this short and sweet. Um, but I am just curious about what the most fun part about being uh, a part of this film and production was for you. Uh, I loved all the special effects on Tom, um, which were really <laughs> fun to do. So when he when he was like carrying a person with just one hand, or um, and how we did we did we shoot at a scene where I fell down the stairs and he would catch me just with one hand, and we had a lot of fun there. So uh, <laughs> it's not in the movie now, but um, we did all of these things. Or when he uh, like moves around and. Um, events in a way which no human can do that was i enjoyed that very much so. oh man it sounds like there might be uh some maybe some deleted scenes that that might hopefully you know we can maybe see on a dvd or something <laughs> but there are there are some some parts in the film where it's like oh that's interesting i wonder how they did that like the back bending or there's a yeah. point at a party where um where when faints and he like just catches her mm. very seamlessly and puts her down mm. that's uh yeah i i wondered like oh i wonder how they did that <laughs> Well, that's very cool. But um, uh, Marwin, I will go ahead and wrap it up here. I appreciate your time very much. For those watching, I'm your man screens at TIFF on Monday the 13th. Uh, and for Phoenix listeners, it also is opening the Peoria Film Festival on Friday 17th. So uh, Friday, September 17th. So um, I'm excited for more people to see this film as it goes even further out into the world, uh, Marwin. And thank you again for this time and this conversation. I really appreciate it. Thank you.